Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video and welcome back to the C programming series. In this video, we're going to be looking at input, more specifically user input. So in the previous video, we took a look at variables and functions. And now it's time to take a look at how to essentially get a user to input their data and how we can use that data in various ways. All right, so when it comes down to the C programming languages, there are various ways you can get your data into the system or there are various ways you can use uh, to, to essentially get the user to input the data. Now, uh, the two of the ways that I sort of prefer are the gets and puts, or you have your printf and scanf, which is probably the, the most preferred. So uh, let's get started with looking at how to input uh, an integer or a number for that matter. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm, in, I'm, just, I'm just going to include my standard library here. So uh, include, and I'm just going to type in stdlib.h right over here and uh, we'll close that out and we want to include this uh, the in uh, we want to include uh, the input output library uh, stdlib dot um sorry the stdio.h sorry about that guys and uh, we're ready to begin all right so uh, we have a spelling mistake right over here and we should be ready all right so when you're talking about input we're just going to create a simple program that will uh, prompt the user to input a number and once they've input the number, the, uh, the, 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 the program will essentially print out the number that the user inputted. All right, so we're going to say something like uh, int, uh, we're going to create our main function here, no arguments yet. All right, so we're going to create a variable here. And let's just, let, let's just call the variable age. We're not going to initialize it with any, with any value. So we're going to say, uh, we're not going to prompt the user to enter uh, the data. So we're going to say, please, uh, please enter your age. All right, and we'll use a nice little colon over there and uh, We'll give it a space so that the user can actually enter their data with some spacing All right, so now we can uh, for, for this purpose Let's start off with using the uh, the printf and scanf, which is the best for integers in my opinion so we use the scanf and then right over here because we are actually uh, we are, we are now inputting the data into the system. We need to specify what type of data it is. And uh, if you remember the previous video, when we're talking about inputting or printing out data, uh, we need to specify the type of data. In this case, it's a decimal. So uh, again, uh, this applies to integers, floats, doubles, etc. So we are going to uh, specify that. So this is a decimal and we are going to save it into the variable age. All right, so the value that the user enters will be saved into the into the variable age. But one interesting thing is, is if you are going to save, uh, if you are going to save the value being entered into a variable, you need to use the, uh, for an integer only, you need to use the and a symbol right over here, just before the, um, just, just before the variable name. All right, so uh, we've essentially inputted uh, the data now and it is going to be stored into the uh, age variable. So we can essentially, uh, at this point, print it out to, to the user. So we can say, uh, you, uh, uh, we can just say your age is, um, and we can give it a nice little uh, colon right over there. And again, we specify the data that we are, um, the data that we're outputting in this case. And uh, we remember, remember the syntax, a comma, and the name of the variable. But in this case, we do not need the, uh, the and symbol there. And once that is done, we will um, essentially return uh, zero here just to make sure that the that everything ran co correctly within the main function. So I'm going to rebuild all here. And once it's compiled, I'm just going to run it here. And it's going to ask me to enter my age. I'm just going to enter an age of maybe 40, for example. Uh, so 40 and we hit enter and there we are. It tells us your age is 40. Pretty simple. Now things get a little bit complex when you move on to characters because we need to specify quite a bit of stuff. I'll show you this right now. So the other way you can go about uh, inputting data is using the get and put. All right, so the get and put uh, really works very, very simply. So I'll show you this. And in this case, we'll start, we will be using a string or the char uh, data type. All right, so, um, so in this case, we'll move on to name. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a, um, a character variable here, a char variable. Uh, of course, it's going to be a string and I'm just going to call it name. And this will have, um, we, we can give it a nice amount of uh, space. So we'll say 20, for example. And now we will print, uh, we'll prompt the user rather. So we're going to say print, uh, printf. Uh, we're going to 
say uh, please um, enter your name all right and uh, again we'll provide the need the necessary punctuation there so print f please enter your name and now we use the get or the gets uh, as it would be called uh, we, we use gets to essentially uh, save the value that is inputted into the variable so we say gets and in here is where we put the variable that uh, that we're going to be using in this case we'll just type in a name and again remember to use the semicolon all right so now uh, what we need to do is we can now print out the data so we can say uh, we can say print uh, printf and we say uh, you have entered and then after this we then specify we can uh, actually break to the next line here but in this case we'll just leave it on the single line and then we get we say puts and we specify the variable name right over here and that should save it to the variable itself and print it out and uh, once this that is done we can use the return zero to see what uh, to essentially test if we have any errors so rebuild all no errors at all and we're going to run this enter your name I'm just going to enter Lexis and there we are it's going to tell me you have entered a Lexis fantastic so we also see that it also gave us a return value of zero which means it executed correctly all right so that is how to use get uh, and put now I really do not uh, prefer using this way I like using the scan f and print f which is probably my my favorite way of going about it um, now when we talk about uh, we, we've already taken a look at uh, essentially inputting uh, inputting integers uh, with uh, the scanf. Now, if we talk about using strings or characters uh, with printf, it really uh, does have a, a different type of syntax. So I'll show you this uh, right now. So what we can do is uh, we will just leave uh, the variable name as it is. Uh, we do not we do not need to initialize anything else. Uh, so essentially, what what would happen here is uh, we would prompt the user to enter their name. So printf, and we say please uh, sorry about that we need a double quotation marks here so we just print up uh, please uh, enter your um, your name and we'll specify that uh, like so now if you want to break to the uh, to a next line you can always use the n command right over there uh, sorry the back slash and the n uh, and, and the end key. All right, so now we are using the scanf but again as I mentioned it's going to be very different so we can say scanf and then with uh, inside of uh, here we then specify again uh, the type of data that's being entered in this case we're entering a string so s and then after this is where we would specify uh, the name of the variable that we're talking about so that is going to be name all right so after that after after we've entered the name or, or, or the variable that you're using we then need to print out the data so printing out is really very simple as i mentioned so uh, we make sure we use the semicolon right over there so we are now going to say uh, printf, printf right over here, and we're going to say you entered uh, your name is, we can just say your name is, I was going to just say your name is, like so. And after this, we use the format. Uh, remember, it's always uh, very important to, uh, to specify that. And finally, uh, we use the variable name right over here and we close that off with a semicolon and we return the value of zero just to make sure everything ran correctly and we rebuild all. All right, so that ran without any errors whatsoever and we're gonna hit run. So it's gonna prompt me to enter my name. I'm just gonna enter a different name apart from my name, I'm gonna hit John and there we are, your name is John. All right, so that is pretty much how to get data in into the system and uh, pretty pretty interesting you can go about it two ways as i've just mentioned there is another way but uh pretty much these uh th these two methods are my personally are my favorite and the most efficient now uh, before we actually go let me create a simple script that will ask the user to essentially input their name and age all right so we will create another variable here and we'll call it int age and int age we're not going to assign any value all right so it's going to uh, um it's going to ask the user to enter the name and they're going to enter their name and they're going to say print f uh, please enter your age so uh, please I'm uh, sorry about that please enter your age please enter your age and uh, we're going to break that right over there and scan f and remember we need to specify the type of data that's being input in this case it's a decimal all right so and then we're going to specify the variable there and but remember in this case we have to use the uh, the and symbol if data is being input in the system and we hit enter and um, 
after this we can start printing out the data now of course in this case we would need to break the line because we want to display on uh, different lines so in over right over here uh, I will just break the line like so and I'll print uh, I'll print this in the uh, in the second line with the, the different values so print f sorry we do not want to indent that so we can then say your uh, your age your age is and we specify the data here it is not a string definitely and the value is going to be of age right over here all right so that pretty much should print out the data that we're looking for and of course it's going to go to the next line so let us see how this actually pans out so i'm going to execute i'm going to rebuild all sorry compile it and we're going to run it and it's going to ask me for my name now so i'm going to just uh, enter different names i'm just going to hit john one more time and John is uh, 120 years old and we're going to hit enter. And there we are. Your name is John and your age is 120. All right. So that is how to get different types of data into your system. And again, if you wanted to know, that's how to get different data, uh, types of data out of your system. So input and output in the C programming language. All right. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions, let me know in the comment section on my social networks or on my website. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Peace.